Grace is our costume designer. Um, Marion, of course, loves the 1920s. She's got her own collection. And we were able to entice Marion to the series because of this. And she's been an incredible asset to the series. She is a stickler for authenticity. She strives for what's the best in the show and she sort of keeps us all on our toes. So I started a campaign in the second series and uh, used to turn up to meetings with all tennis rackets, tennis brooches, all sorts of things. I was very cheeky and I was lucky enough that um, the producers uh, probably took pity on me and actually finally gave me a tennis episode. Tennis was one of those irresistible images. The whites and beautiful green backgrounds against gorgeous homes, really grand homes. We always, for each episode, we know where the locations are going to be. We look at all the location photos because you don't want someone singing into the wall, but you don't want it too high contrast. Um, it also has to go with the mood of the piece. So you've got to try and um, piece it all together. You have to be very careful with white. You can't have too high a white. You can't have a uh, very um, sort of strong blue white. You have to actually play whites and creams and winter whites and slightly pink whites together to actually create a beautiful palette. There's an enormous amount of detail. Every costume is put together. It's not just designing a frock. You have to design um, hats. You have to find the, the perfect accessory, the jewellery, the brooches, the gloves, the handbags. Sometimes it will take us eight weeks just to complete one single look. This is an original pair of 1920s shoes that uh, I managed to find in the States. It's quite hard to find something that's um, bigger than a seven and a half because we're a lot bigger than we used to be. These shoes, I had to play tennis in these shoes, which are probably from 1920. <laughs> they're, they're very delicate, extremely old. They've been repainted about a thousand times. And yes, playing tennis in high heels is another one of my newly acquired skills. This is an original um, velvet jacket from the 1920s. It's in incredibly good nick. A woman incredibly kindly donated this to us. When she first sent me a picture of this jacket, I fell absolutely in love with it. And I could just imagine it in this episode. So I was actually thrilled that we were able to use it and um, designed all the pieces around it. So thank you very much. <laughs> So this was a, a dress that we designed for a soiree and it's a piece of fabric I actually bought in Italy um, and sews this which is the most magical sort of crazy sort of flame fabric. It just, when it's lit, the whole thing becomes alive. It's like a fire. The, the thing about the 20s cutting is that it's got all of these panels in it. So it's not just a slab of fabric, it's all of these um, interconnecting panels which then give it movement because the fabric's actually working against each other so it swings so a really really big part of what made the 20 so elegant was actually the swing. We're, we're very proud of what we achieve with such a small uh, crew. We search all sorts of places. Everybody's always searching and ferreting and it's really exciting when a whole piece comes together and in the way that you want it to. We're quite relentless. If you want a particular colour feather, it gets dyed. Everything, so there's an enormous amount of tests of um, building colour and building palettes. And so everything, it's not just finding a yellow feather, it has to be the yellow feather.